Okay, everyone, this is going to be a real quick tutorial uh, how to create a JavaScript function that can count how many vowels there are in a string. So I've got a given string here. All it says is, how many vowels are there in this string? You want to have to return a numerical value that counts how many vowels there are. So there's a vowel here, vowel here, vowel here, vowel here, vowel here. We can do this as humans, but uh, we got to make the, the computer do it somehow. How do we do that? I can run it. It's just going to return the string. So we want to create a function, and we will call it uh, vowel counts. Let's do that. And it'll return a string and a code block. And let's return the string just to make sure this is working. And then we'll call the function outside of the code block. And we should get the same thing back. There we go. How many vowels are there in this string? OK, so for this, we're going to want to um, create a counter. Then we'll just call it count, and we'll count, we'll start the counter at zero, obviously. And then at the very end of this code block, we're going to return the count because we're going to return a numerical numerical value. So for now, it's just going to be zero. We want that zero to count, uh, go through the string, and count how many vowels it comes across. So for that, um, we're going to create a uh, for loop, and we're just going to do it real quick. We'll set the index up, so we'll have set the index to i, keep it at zero, and then uh, i is going to be um, less than the length of the string, so string.length. Oops, and then we're gonna have uh, increment, the stri increment the index, and we'll give that a code block. And so uh, from here, I mean, we can just console log this and see what it returns for us, the index at um, string, and make, sure, oop, make sure it's working. So this brings back all the characters in the string, every single one. How many vowels are there in this string? Okay, it brings it back everything. So it's it's going through the for loop is going through every single character in this string, and it's returning the um, the character for us. That's what the string index is going to do for us. So we know what this with str, you know, string index. We know what that's going to return for us. So uh, our first part is done. We created a for loop that is going to loop through the string, and um, you know, returns us the necessary information. We just have to find out which of these characters are going to be vowels. So how do we do that? Well, we can go back to our friends, the variables again. Go outside of the for loop and then create another variable. Let's just call it vowels. We'll assign to this variable all the vowels we know. A, E, I, O, U. We'll keep them all lowercase for now. It's not uh, necessary to make them uppercase and lowercase because we'll worry about that later. I mean, we could create uppercase vowels, lowercase vowels variables. It's not necessary. So um, if we know that uh, uh, the vowels is all of the, um, uh, you know, in, in the variables, all the vowels, uh, how can we use that? Well, so we use a little method called index of, which means that it'll, re so index of will return for us a value of, you know, starting at zero, one, two, three, four, of um, whatever value the, uh, uh, <coughs> the character is going to be at. It's hard to explain these things sometimes. So think of it this way, um, if I have, you know, we'll cancel this all out. If I have a variable called vowels and it's equal to A, E, I, O, U, and I have a um, variable, I call it new, or I call it the index, and we call this uh, vowels.index of, and I give it the string value of A, and I return, console log um, the index and, oops, index and then what does that give us back it gives us back uh, a value of zero e is going to give us back a value of one uh, i is going to give us back a value of uh, two and then if i have some random ass uh, letter here like a d or something it's going to bring us back a value of negative one so index of is a very powerful tool when you want to return numerical values from a string at the index of. <laughs> See what I did there? So let's get rid of this uh, real quick. Let's go back to our function. And let's take this, let's console log whatever we get with vowels. Oops, vowels.index of, and then we'll give it the, um, the string. And what happens? Oh, we get all these funny numbers back. They're mostly negative ones because most of the characters in the string are not going to be a vowel here saying we got negative ones all over the place and every time we don't get a negative one we get a zero through four because that's a vowel you see that uh the o in how is at the index of zero one two three in the vowels variable so every time uh this index of every time the for loop returns a value that's greater than negative one basically zero all the way up through you know through four then we want it to uh we want the counter to count up Okay, so that should tip you off right there. If 
hint, hint, if we get a value greater than negative one, we want the counter to go up. That's basically English right there. So go go back to this and say if vowels.index of string is greater than negative one. Okay, let's give it a code block and then we want counter increment to one and then return the counter. That's basically all we do. Look, 11. Ooh, that's awesome, right? We're not quite done yet though. Um, <clears throat> I like to do something a little cute called like return uh, this string has plus count vowels in it. And then uh, you return that. Uh, oh, we got to add it here. So it says this string has 11 vowels in it. But what if I said how many vowels, how many dogs are there in America? Uh, it still tells me it has 11 vowels. But the problem is this string actually has... 12 vowels in it we got i mean i can count them but it's not counting the big a here okay because i only have a e i o u a e i o u i mean i could go a e i o u and then it's gonna i mean it has 12 vowels in it it's one way i could do it uh to keep it simple though uh we could just keep it at a e i o u and then say string i uh, convert all the the values to uh two lower case and that should that should do it there, this string has 12 vowels in it okay what if i make uh uh in america there are uh <laughs> you want to use y there are aliens uh this string has also has 12 vowels. really in america there are uh dogs 10 vowels in it it counts, I mean, again, you want to make sure that you get in the uppercase and lowercase letters. That's it. Uh, that's basically how you write a function counting the vowels. Thanks a lot. Bye.